This is an ABC 10 News update. Good morning, I'm Jared Ahrens with this 10 News update. A police officer in Houston was shot and killed during a traffic stop overnight. The officer was identified as Corporal Charles Galloway. Authorities say he had just pulled over a car at around 1 this morning. Witnesses say that's when a suspect got out of his car and fired several times at Galloway's patrol car before driving off. They say that suspect had an assault type weapon. The Houston Police Department is investigating the incident. Dozens of San Diego firefighters are on their way to Big Sur to help battle a wildfire in the area. Cal Fire says the crew left last night and will be there as long as they're needed. It's called the Colorado Fire and has burned more than 1,000 acres in Monterey County. That number is smaller than what was previously reported. Firefighters say better mapping has given them a more accurate look at its size. According to the most recent update, it is just 20% contained. Only one building damage, though, and no injuries. An evacuation order remains in place this morning with Highway 1 closed in both directions. Still no word on how it started. A social media influencer accused of killing his wife will be back in court tomorrow. 29-year-old Ali Abulaban is charged with fatally shooting his wife Anna and her friend Rayburn Barron at an East Village apartment last October. The preliminary he hearing for Abulaban began over two weeks ago. It was delayed after he had to be isolated, but it's not clear if that was because of COVID or for another reason. During the first part of the hearing, surveillance footage showed Abulaban going to his estranged wife's apartment followed by the sound of six gunshots. Melissa Masiha is here now with a look at our forecast. Melissa. And for your Sunday, it's going to be pretty pleasant along our coastline. We'll be in the upper 60s to low 70s. A little bit warmer than what we saw yesterday in our Inland Valley, seeing mostly the low to mid 70s for your Sunday. Your seven day forecast, we're going to drop down into the 60s by Monday and Tuesday. A little bit cooler because of the return of the onshore flow. Overnights in the 40s to low 50s. Our inland spots will be in the low 70s by Monday and Tuesday. And then a bit warmer as we finish off the week. For the latest news, weather, and traffic, go to 10news.com or you can simply download our 10 News app in your app store. For 10 News, I'm Jared Ahrens.